Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. A uh, bit of a game that came out of nowhere. We uh, had a lot of fun last time. It's extremely hardcore. It takes place in the 1600s, and we shipwrecked on this island. Highly recommend you go check out episode one. It's pinned in the chat. Uh, the edited version or the unedited version, you can find both of them on my channel right now for episode one. Thanks for popping in today. Hit the sub button notification icon. Make sure it's set to always. So that way you're notified whenever the next live stream goes live. Tomorrow we'll be hopping on this and Dead Island. Lots of streaming going on tomorrow, so it's going to be a fun time. And uh, let's run around. Today I want to do a lot of base building, maybe craft a raft, kind of see how that feels. Um, and just have a good time doing it. I think I got minor poisoning from a scorpion. I did. Chance of worsening, 28%. That's pretty high. Do we have a scorpion on us to cook? We do. Problem is, I don't have any fuel for the campfire, and we need to eat and drink, which means I need coconuts. And I guess we're just going to have to stay out at night for now, but that's good because we won't get sunburn or anything of that nature. Hi, Tor, how are you? Run all the way down here to our old OG base. And grab some coconut so we can drink. Our water. One of these guys got some coconuts, they do. That's a ripe one, though. I think I need a ripe one for something, but the green coconut is where we get water. Mm, uh, we can check the dates. Will they... Will they give us water? Let's see. No, but a good amount of food, so we'll keep that in mind. We can gather a whole bunch of dates, just stock them up. Real nice. I don't think I fully removed... Oh, see, we already grabbed all those. I'm going to try to grab a few coconuts. I know I'm a bit overweight. We're going to get a backpack going today. A lot of just like crafting and upgrading. We're going to check all that stuff out. Get the workbench going today. Really try our best. To have some... Some production... Going today. But none of these have coconuts. I should have ran through the cave probably. Thought this would be the, the place to do it, but it ain't. Definitely need to get a water collector. ASAP, pronto, right away. That's important. I think these narrow leaves are weighing me down. Storage containers for extra crap. Just the baseline issues of early survival games. Just need to make room. Hello, chickadee. How art thou? Just grab some sticks right here for now. Get the campfire lit. Get rid of this poison so it doesn't get progressively worse. Ignite! Nice. We actually leveled up our campfire making. Perfect. And scorpion. We're going to eat this. Beep boop. There we go. Okay. We're not poisoned anymore by the scorpion. Glad you can catch me live, King Tater. I appreciate it. We're going to run through the cave. And let's grab some coconuts on the other side. We're going to build our base in here. This is just going to be like a f FOB of some kind. Um... We need the workbench to make the bow. Like, I just want to make sure we're, like, set to explore. And maybe even make the raft today. If we can get the tannery going. And then hop on the raft and go travel to lands beyond. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Couple of scorpions. Trying to tickle my toes. No, sir. 
I just got done playing SnowRunner with Christian. We're going to play more on twitch.tv slash roll after this. And it got us talking in uh, Southern accents permanently. So I completely apologize if that happens during this stream. Here we go. Okay. Campfire successful. We need water. That's the water collector we want to build right there. Puffball mushroom. Mmm. I know it sounds weird, but if I was stranded on an island, I'd actually have fun creating recipes and cooking. Trying to make stuff tasty without, like, my cabinet full of all of delicious spices. Okay. So we can just open these. Nice. And then we can drink. Okay. So this is where we're storing our leaves. Let's drop all our leaves here for now. Perfect. Uh, we'll put all of our our foods right here, our leaves, that type of thing. We'll keep the charcoal just in case we climb another tree while we're out and about. So baseline, first thing we have to do, I want to say, is the workbench and the backpack. A workbench is going to unlock a bunch of stuff for us. We need two long sticks, more liana rope, and regular small sticks. We get a regular small stick right there. Okay. So let's kind of like learn our surroundings here. Uh, do we have one long stick on us? We don't. Okay. So I'm going to have to kill the nasty little rodents with my axe, which is fine. It could be worse. I should have made a steam bandage before I left. Just in case. Ish goes south. But I think we're okay for right now. Don't you worry. I remember, I think I circled that way before and we didn't find any long sticks or anything of that nature, right? So I'm going to avoid this rabid dog and go to where I know the long sticks are and probably just gather a whole bunch of the long sticks. I want to say we need the workbench for the backpack. I'm going to check that real quick. Because if we could just craft this while we're out and about, that'd be extremely nice. Where's the backpack? Here it is. Portable box. Yeah, I see two long sticks and then the... I walked right into it. I even heard it. Can I walk past this thing? Do I have to? That didn't do enough. I lost my axe again. Fuck it. Just stab it to death. We got poisoned, but we have more stuff at home, so we'll be fine. It just hurt a little bit. We're just building character. Getting bit by rattlesnakes just builds character. Tough skin. Of course, of course. That's all we need. Long sticks. I'm going to kill this dude right here. I'm not as afraid this time. Got him. He's dead. More long sticks for me. Ooh, is that like an apple? Plutonia. I'm going to grab one just to learn the recipes. Does this give me water? It gives me a little bit of both. I'm going to grab both of those. We'll eat those on our adventures. A little snack. This one also has it, so we can't get long sticks off these guys, but that's actually good shite right there. Come here, you rabid piece of ass. I don't know what a purple is. Is that a critical? It was. Bottom left critical. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that. These are small sticks. Small sticks. We need quite a few of these anyway, so let's just grab five. And then the long sticks were off of... I always forget where we get the long sticks. Let's get into the jungle a little bit. I have more of that charcoal stuff. I need the lil Lilana, which we can get off of these jungle trees. If I check the map, though, we're going into some, some territory we haven't been in yet. So maybe we just make our way to that tree over there and we scout it. That may be quite useful, but I am hearing snakes, like, all around me. This is the worst thing ever. 
Ooh, we actually need these. You can get the wide leaf off of oh, the birds of paradise. Nice. Where's this big ass tree I was heading towards? Hmm. It's real thick out here in the in the woods. Real thick, real quick. I think we're good though. There's a snake right there on the left. This has to be one of the climbable trees, right? This thing is absolutely disgustingly huge. Oop, we placed a ladder on it. Now we go up. And I have that charcoal on me so we can scout the area. And we can find some materials that we're looking for. Great place for mapping. Space for mapping. Start mapping. Three hours of mapping later. Beep boop. We know all this whole area. Liliana, bread tree, hibiscus, eucalyptus, special object, big branch, special object, interesting item. We know everything about this area, huh? Hibiscus chronicles on the water there. Huh. A lot of stuff going on. Pretty large map. I'm gonna grab some of these eggs for dinner. Grab like four. I'm assuming we're gonna need feathers for arrows, so I'll grab those two. We don't wanna get too overweight though. I think we only need long sticks for the backpack, right? Yep. There's two long sticks. So does this show us where long sticks are? Big branches, long sticks. There we go. Yeah, long sticks are really hard to come by over by my base, so let's go check out here. But there is a harpy over here, which... That's questionable. I see one flying right there. You see that? He's doing the rounds. We don't have a bow for him. That'd be pretty bad. We might have to go around the harpy territory to hit the long sticks so we can get a bunch to bring home. Because long sticks are not abundant where we are. We need long sticks for absolutely everything. So yeah, it's directly that way. Like I said, we'll avoid the harpy, so we'll go like this and try to cut through if we can. We should be pretty safe, though. I like how detailed the map gets after you've explored the area. Oh, look at this. Some old ruins. What's this? A snake potion. What? Did I just drink it instead of grabbing it? What did I do? Uh, strength of the snake. Strength of natives potions. Zero water loss, zero food loss, and zero energy loss for 24 hours. Okay, that's actually kind of beneficial. We found a book in an obsidian shard. Unlocks fishing. It takes 10 hours to read and it unlocks fishing. And we have that fishing spot by our base. Cool. Progress, progress. Okay, I don't want to be up here anymore, though. We gotta keep an eye out for this place. But no food, no water for 24 hours is real nice. We still have to sleep. And we can still break our legs. We gotta be extra careful. I wanna stay away from the peccaries. I don't know if they're gonna attack us. I don't think they do. And we're already overweight, so I'm gonna have to drop some crap. In order to get home. Oh, God. I think we're good to take him. Come here, bub. I ain't afraid of you. See you later. That definitely is going to make us overweight. Is that a harpy? Okay, so it's just in the, in the clouds. So they come out into this large field, I'm assuming. There's the peccaries. Maybe they will attack us. There's the harpy nest. Oh, God. And we're in direct sunlight. Please. He's dead as hell. Look at that place up there on the rock. All right, wait, this is where we want to be. This is the long stick zone. Beautiful. We got hella long sticks already. So now crafting, portable box. Is this done in the workbench? 
Do I have everything to do it. Oh, we don't have narrow leaves. I dropped the narrow leaves back at home. And we're not on a coast. Can we get narrow leaves not on the coast? Oh, right here. Why do we have music? Does the harpy want me? I know this sounds weird, but I almost want to move here. Even though we just found that cave. I really just want to move here. It's got everything. It really does. It's the long sticks, really. And then these are going to give us exactly what we're looking for. I think it's going to start raining anytime soon. Crafting. Portable box. Oop. Alright, now we have a lot more inventory room. We still don't even have a chest piece. What do we need for that? Leaf cape, five of these. I can do that. One, two. Three, four, five. I guess we set up bases everywhere. But this seems like it's kind of like deep into the map where I want to be. In the island of hope, right on the coast. This would be a great place to put our raft in for the first time. We got tortoises, dates. We're a little bit deeper into the game already. Big branches. Something tells me we have to explore banana palms. We can go get some bananas too. That would be huge. Okay. So if we're establishing base here, we need a canopy. Which means we need Liliana. Telescope's near here. Check the map. Yeah, I have this. It's a special object, special items, these two things over here. But it's guarded by boars. So, I don't really know about that yet. And like I said, I wanted to just do some some building today. This seems like I could easily get like builds done pretty quick in this little area here. I think our only problem is going to be the rope. So let's drop here at this rock real quick. All this... These extra goodies, and let's go on a rope gathering spree. There we go. We have that book to read as well. These are rocks. I wonder if the birds will like land during the night or something. Since we don't have to eat or drink, it's probably a good idea to build out here. Just because of that uh, rare snake potion we found. All right, it says the rope tree is on the left over here. Gotta be careful. It is so dark, too. The birds stay in the sky even when it's dark, it looks like. Might be a little... Be a little crap. There's another one. I think we're good. Eight off of this tree? Oh, something's hunting me, so it won't let me. I cannot even see it. There's two of them. Let's see if I back up this way enough. Will they stop hunting? What do these give me? Bananas. And wide leaves. Oh, yeah. This is so much easier in here. Holy crap. I might have to kill these. Yeah. I think I have to. There's two of them. There we go. One down. One to go. Axe broke. Punched it to death. Can we get this without axe? Nope, we can't. And we're not bleeding. How about repair? Just hit repair. Need one stone. There should be recipes for this. There we go. And repair. Good to go. We're at like half health. We should be fine. Get all this rope like we set out to do. Get out of this darkness so you guys can actually see what the heck's going on. Yeah, I can't build a torch yet, I don't think. Got 
Got him. All right. This is the final resting base location for certain 100%. So much better here. Okay. We got stones. We got the rope. We can now build our canopy with the sticks. We just need to craft the rope. Do we? Goodness gracious. We need narrow leaves for the rope as well. So good thing we live where we live because there's a crap ton of this here. my door. Do it only lets us do one? What? We just picked up five. Is that one per craft that I'm seeing? This inventory screen could use a little assist, I think. There we go. We got five. It's raining. Lovely. My favorite. I would just like a separate build menu from everything else. And two. Need five long sticks. Oops. Insufficient tool durability again, bro. This thing breaks so quick. We got enough, though, for the canopy, nonetheless. There's even more wide leaves right here. This is the spot, man. This is going to be a good spot. I'll build the, uh, the jacket once the sun comes back out, probably. Right there is good. Why not? Need five more of those. There we go. Gathering level up. That'll help everything. Yeah, the way things is gathered is pretty anti-immersive, I guess. No suitable axe. Need another rock. It's kind of like a long dark style thing. Kind of like a long dark meets green hell type of vibe so far. So I wanted to dig deep into the building today. I don't think we're going to get like hyper deep into the story or anything like that. I really just want to see the rafting and like where it will bring us. Like there's an obsidian saw that I'm assuming we use for better construction and things. Like, there's a lot of things we still haven't unlocked yet. So I'm curious where it goes with everything. To see if it'll start kind of separating itself from other games, if you will. And so far, the inventory stream is uh, less to be desired. And such. And it just... the uh, Crafting is... Is rather tedious. Like, it just kind of is. Like, it just feels like five sticks from a tree is not enough a lot of the time. I don't know how I'm going to even get regular sticks here just from, like, old washed up shit. You need a saw for this stuff. Okay. That guy doesn't give us sticks. Okay, these guys. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's avoid the enemies. Okay, so we know where sticks are. We know where long sticks are. We know where wide leaves are. We know where thin leaves are. We know where we would use the saw. We have free food on the coast. It's time to build. Let's get some stuff going. Shall we? My snake potion doesn't have too much longer left, but it'll do. I had fuel. We have six hours worth of fuel from this. I failed the ignite. 
took me an hour to light the fire. Good lord. I shouldn't be around here if it's taking me an hour to light the fire. Okay. And of course, we got the canopy as soon as the fire comes up. Perfect. Uh, my guy's getting not sleepy because the potion hasn't run out yet. We have, like, two hours left on the potion, but that's fine. A lot of the time wasted cutting down trees and shit, but it did save us time overall. So, workbench. That's what I need. There we go. Replace those. More sticks. More long sticks. Okay. Hi, turtle. You're going to be dinner, brother. More than likely. Those are long sticks right here. Are these also long sticks? Yes. Are these regular sticks? No. What did I say? Five? We can get a few extras, though, right? While we're here. Oh, I gotta stop running through the bushes. Everything is going well. I'm excited for tomorrow with Dead Island 2. We can stop playing these weird filler games that are just kind of subpar. But, you know, I like to check out the mechanics of most survival games that come out. So that's why we're here. Testing. Early access stuff. You know? You never know. Dewey, I specifically closed the door so that way you wouldn't bark in my ear. And then you go around through the other room and then you bark in my ear. Crazy shit. What a goofball. Yeah, we'll be playing Dead Island 2 tomorrow. For sure. For sure, for sure. Alright. Workbench is about to be set up. And then we see everything we do with the workbench. Definitely gonna make a bow. We need that. Deep boop. Hour 48 minutes for that. Alright, we need a bed. We really need another canopy, too. I can do the nice bed. Easily. Damn, look at that. I think we're gonna be... Do we, like, pass out or something? No. Quality of sleep, 12 hours is what my guy wants. I'll give him 12. Screw it. There we go. Add fuel, get that fire back going again. And we're good. We can pull the mollusks out, but that uses energy. We don't want to do that. Okay, workbench. Obsidian saw. Let's go ahead and get that. We have a piece of obsidian right here. Boom. And that'll be a tool to help us process down some of these large logs on the coast. No suitable hammer. That's why we were building the workbench, right? We needed a hammer. I can do an obsidian hammer with an obsidian blade and a long handle. So what's the most basic hammer we can possibly make? A wooden hammer. We need a big branch. I can go get us a big branch. we cook some snake right here, or do we need to upgrade this first? I think we need to upgrade it first. Fried eggs as well, I think, is the upgrade. Do we have enough stones here? Doesn't seem like we have a lot of stones here. Maybe there's another big stone nearby. We have, like, two. I think I literally need three. We can also read that book at some point for fishing. Yeah, I'm not immediately seeing any stones. Let's run the coast and see if we find another. Because I can cook up these eggs, and that'll pro definitely provide us with enough food for now. We have a coconut tree right here as well for water. Blueprints.
I don't know. I think there probably could be some adjustments. I don't mind the time. Maybe lessen the time, increase the materials that you get. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a whole goddamn tree. What were we doing out here again? We're looking for a stone. But screw it. Let's just eat random fruits and shit on the long, along the way to the, the closest log area. Big branch zone. It looks like we have to go through a pretty dangerous territory. And there's jackals off to the right of me. So I'm going to stay left. Let's just see if we can sprint our way to the big log zone without taking any fights. I'm pretty low on HP. I didn't make any bandages. Kind of YOLOing this, to be honest. It's a really terrible idea because there's boar there. This one doesn't have anything around it. Maybe I go there. Go to that one. Big logs will make hammer. Big hammer make big item. Big item make bigger item. Workbench into the tannery. Tannery into making our first little raft. I'm assuming these logs are going to be heavy as shit though, no? Doesn't even tell us how to do the raft yet. Let me see. Primitive fishing. Here it is. Nope, that's fire starters. I don't like this inventory screen either. There they are. First raft. Yeah, it's just big log and then we unlock it. So we're getting there. Because it might be... Like, if we could build on the raft, like, put containers on the raft, that'd be nice. Big branch. Me all the big branches. Let's do four. I brought stones to repair, so we're good there. Four is all we can carry. Actually, I think I could carry one more, because I used the stone, right? You've been attacked by pests? Oh god, ew! Ew, get it off of me! I think we lucked out, though. I don't think we got... Yeah, we're good. We have vivacity because we're real happy. Already hit that cartographer tree. And then my new bed is where? There it is. Okay. So just straight this way. Ooh! Thank God it was asleep. My butthole puckered a little bit there. A little puckerage. Okay, we can't go down this shit. <gasps> oh, that was bad. Would have been bad. Very bad. Almost home. Hi, Brownie. How are you doing? Okay. We got bedge. We got this. We got long stuff. It says we can upgrade here. With a split log, we can learn new blueprints by upgrading the bench. Wow, there's a lot. So there's copper at some point, too. This goes pretty deep. You need just a regular old small stick, which I used on the campfire, so we need to go grab more. Gosh darn it. Right over here. Actually, let's leave the big things here and just grab as many sticks as humanly possible. Yeah, the weight kind of stinks. The amount of sticks and things that you're getting kind of stinks. Not being multiplayer kind of stinks. I mean, just like not having multiplayer in like 2023 is absolutely insane to me. I understand like netcode and stuff, but like... Shit can be goofy and still fun, you know? Oh. 
But yeah, it's a bit weird. I mean, 23 minutes to gather five sticks off of one of these things. I mean, I guess it's kind of realistic. Maybe. Somewhat. I'd rather an obscene number of sticks, though. Okay. Obscene number of sticks acquired. Let's try to do some more. Some more work here. Some more work around the new camp. Grab one of these guys. Crafting. Wooden hammer. Acquired. Heck yes. Wooden hammer allows us to do house modules like foundations, but we need a builder toolkit. And then we have full-blown, like, walls and stuff that I assume we just make out of sticks. So I'm curious, what do we need for the builder toolkit? So I assume just standing around the workbench does the workbench stuff. So now we need a builder toolkit. Hut made of leaves. Unlocked. Look at all that. Protect from the sun rain gives you 2% bonus and 10 more energy per hour compared to 7 on the bed that we have currently. Carpentry workbench is the next thing with a common log and then the skin dryer. And obviously, this guy for gathering water for us. Where's the tool kit? We need a common log. We had a log at the old place. How did we get that? Wasn't there a specific tree? At our old place that had a log? Did we make the saw? Do we need the hammer for the saw? Let's make the saw and maybe can saw up like a dead old tree or something? I don't have the obsidian on me anymore. I guess I don't. Did I already make this all? Oh, there we go. Current pro oh, so it goes into the workbench and then you work on it. Oh. Okay. Then we take the saw up to the dead branch and see what we can get off of it. Yeah, that's true. The gathering systems would have to severely change in a multiplayer scenario. I got a half log from this guy, but I need a shovel. We get sticks from this guy. It just uses an axe. I'm trying to th think of where we would get one of those logs. Because these are just big branches we got. We need logs. Maybe there's a log. That looks kind of like a log sticking out of the ground right there. Maybe. That's just for wood. Can any of these be chomped down into a log? I don't know. Going into uncharted territory. Is there a tree around here? Or are we going to look from like up there? Maybe. There's har oh, I'm right next to a harpy nest, huh? Oh god. It's coming down to defend, but I'm swooping away. God, my sleep schedule's so off in game. Hmm. Maybe I just go find a thicker tree? I have done a playthrough of State of Decay 2. Just Google it. You'll find it. Mahogany tree. What the fucking balls is that? Is that a regular old boar? I don't want to take that on without a bow or something. This year, definitely boar territory. 
half logs. See, we're only getting half logs, no common logs. Pitch black again. Lovely. Could be hard to find, but where? It seems like everywhere I've gone, there's always one thing missing in that region. You know what I mean? I, like, came here, I had everything, but now I can't find common logs. Athletics level 3 pog, wow. Oh my god. The pickeries do run away. Sticks out of this fucking thing? Really? Come on, man. Give me a break. That's a group of boar right there. Common log, common log, where is the common log? <sighs> you swap to the axe to the ox? Axe just seems like something that hot swaps, like we can't pull it out. Small palm, mahogany tree, bread tree is where you can o says you can get common logs. Okay, I'm at another fucking nest. Oh god. Think about getting this game. Uh, I don't know, man. Here's a mahogany tree. No logs. It feels like someone who's never played a survival game made a survival game. By like punching in survival game into AI and then just like running with the story. Because my current objective right now is to run from tree to tree and press E until I find something that gives me the log I'm looking for. Yeah, I chopped down one at my old base. And what's weird is it doesn't... Everything's marked on the map except for common logs. So it's like... I don't think it would be another tool. That doesn't make sense. It's a, it's a log. And I don't have any other tools. I got a common log at the old beach randomly. I think it was just one of the trees I pressed on just was available to cut into a common log. But I've yet to find that. <laughs> anywhere. In this area. What is this thing? Nothing. Just here to be here. What's this guy? Is this tobacco? I think it is. <sighs> it's a cut down option up top. I'm going to off myself in game, of course. Okay, that makes more sense. But the thing is, if I caught... <sighs> well. 15 minutes of ADD later, we figured it out. But I'm curious, can we chop down, like, anything? Like, can we chop down any of these little guys by our base for it? Then? Shut up. Stop gurgling at me. Just leave me alone. It's not even hard to kill. You're just annoying.
But the thing is, if we chop these down, then we don't get the materials off of them because they're gone. I don't know. And we injured our hand during the process. Ah. Uh... Blind man? Yeah, blind man made this UI, sure. I'll go with that. Uh, bandage. Beep boop. We need to... I guess we need to make bandages on a fire, so... Gotta turn that on. Okay. We're bandaged. Not even gonna worry about the poison. Cut down the tree. Loss of vital status chopping down a tree. Oh my god. Here we go. Look! We have a common log! Now, crafting. I can do... The builder's... Builder's... Toolkit. Grab this. Cannot execute. I don't understand because I need to do the builder's toolkit. Do I build this in somewhere? In the carpentry workbench. Holy fuck. <laughs> Almond log. Okay, at least we have that. Carpentry workbench. See, it says we need that, and then we can't craft. Okay, so how does this work? We gotta place it, and then just put the log on it. He thinks. There we go. Now we're gonna have to do this with another chance at injury. My axe broke. Let's go find a rock. Is that a coconut or a rock? I think that's a coconut. Capital A pain. But we're here. I'm committed. I want to see. Prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. Show me. Show me you are good. Show me it all. Yeah, it does feel like a lot of steps. Like, it's a weird design choice. I don't know, like... Can't you just, like, download... Like, tree chopping? Like, isn't this Unreal or some shit? Like, like or Unity? Can't you just, like install that shit so I chop down a tree like every game that I've played it, it, it feels like it took like a, a bit of a step backwards if you will for some reason and this UI is just something else okay builder's toolkit we need another log need another log before I log Now my guy's tired, and I'm going to sleep the day away, and it's going to be dark as shit again. Can't wait. Okay. I have the log. So we do we activate the builder's toolkit in here? Okay, put the log on there, and then it turns into the toolkit. So see, that's a cool mechanic. Like, I like that. That's nice. Why does this say four, though? If I have to... Well, I have to sleep, obviously. Let's just take, like, a... cat nap or something. And it's raining again, dear lord. Okay. Inventory. Hammer. House modules. Nice. So, we, we literally only have four. But it's just a stone to build a foundation. So, I guess it could be worse. Uh, let's build it out this way, maybe? Just, like... 
Pull something like that. How does this work? Hammer needed for installing, upgrading, moving, demolishing models. Hammer consider equipped. Spelled that wrong. When he has an active weapon slot without a hammer, you cannot interact with modules. Okay, yeah. Kind of makes sense, like every other game. So I'm assuming this is just to place the blueprint. And then what do we need? 18 minutes to build one foundation. 18 minutes to build another. Okay, see? We need a stone to do that one. Okay, so I understand the building. But what's stopping me from just living under canopies? It's definitely realistic, but it does feel like, like I said, just mechanics-wise, it feels like it just like kind of took a step back for some reason. I mean, just let me chop down the trees. Let me spend the day just doing the work instead of them doing the work for me, but doing it poorly, I guess. Um, I'm just going to shovel the eggs. Why not? That'll do for now. Okay. So I don't really give a shit about the foundations at all. Lovely. That was a... Drop log resource on shoulder into the machine. So that's where we put the logs when we find them. Okay, next step. I want the boat. I want to go on a journey. I can build a dock. Whoa. That's actually pretty dope. We just do that like this? Three builders toolkits for that. Okay. Why not? What's up, Yagistrail? Yeah, How are you doing? Mr. World Tree? Here we go. And poop. We have a dog. This is cool, though. Actually, <gasps> I got a perk point. My first perk point. Concentration mode. Uh. Eh. There's control. Better sleep. Why do I want better sleep? 10 processor to all skills. That actually might be the way to go early, probably. Oh, nice little soundtrack. Okay. You know, we're on the college try still. Processed hide. I see. So we need the... The skin dryer. Right? Two Liliana rope and two long sticks. Um, I really need good food. Let's go kill... One of these rats real quick. Probably should make a bow because that's going to be the only way we get hide, right? We're probably going to get hide off of like boars or something. I would assume. So we're probably going to need a bow to kill those. So we can tan the hide and hop on the boat. Oh, hi, turtle. Can you help me out with my munchies, too? Obviously, nothing to write home about combat-wise. Cannot craft no fire. I just... Did it fail? I think it failed. See, I did really like the, uh, like, choose your two item thing. I wish more survival games would maybe do that for, like, stranded games. Stranded styles of games, if you will. Roasted shorty or Doug. My favorite. Okay, there should be... 
Um, we should be okay on water, but maybe we can grab a couple of coconuts before we go to bed. I think we're going to start getting debuffed by being this sleepy, though. Stomach ache. So I need more water because I have a stomach ache. I don't know if the trees are gone forever after we chop them. That would be extremely inconvenient. Dude, I just need water. It's, it's, it is a bit obscene how long it takes to do stuff. If, like, you're not prepared with the items and, like, your stats get a little too low, you're kind of screwed. Because you it takes time and energy and food and water to do everything on the map to gather anything anywhere. So. God, it's quite a... Uh, is it nuanced or a nuisance is what I'm still trying to figure out. The UI and controls... I'll still stand behind being poo-poo. How do I repair these things? And it takes 20 minutes to repair each of my things, and then 20 minutes to chop down the tree, and 20 minutes to do this. We need the tannery. Where'd all my rope go? I gotta craft some now. What do I need for the rope again? I think I needed, uh this stuff. I still have a cut, but like, do I care? I don't know. I'll care when it gets infected. Like, just to make rope, 2 hours 15 minutes. Wild. Basic bow, we can definitely do that with long sticks. Wooden arrows are pretty easy to make, too. Water collector, we should probably do that with a coconut at some point. Long handle, short handle, so this is how we make the better tools. Okay. Not sure I really care about any of the custom building. We can just live under a canopy and be perfectly fine. Alright, long sticks. My axe is almost broken. I need fucking stones. We're just gonna take more time. Oh. Hey, you can cut down a tree in a whole 30 minutes by read a book in 10 hours. I mean, it would take a while to read a book. Don't get me wrong. And I understand that it would take... 30 minutes probably to chop down a tree. Maybe more with a shitty axe like this, but like the sticks and then like making the axe and things like that and like the constant need of repair on everything. Fifty-four minutes to make that little bucket out of a coconut. And then it's nighttime again. need a stone. I'd have to make a pickaxe, probably. Get stone a little easier. Yeah, I wonder how they'd have to do it at multiplayer. I mean, obviously, they'd have to have a... That, that, but the th that, what's, what's kind of wild to me is, like, I think... The way the crafting and breaking works was like a design choice. It wasn't something they had to do. You know what I mean? They could have just put everything behind energy, and then like when you use too much energy, you would need to rest and not keep it behind some time box thing that they're doing. Look at that little tunnel right there that's probably got a chest in it with some potion that'll help me do things. But yeah, time will probably decrease with the better weapon, and, like, you get the obsidian stuff, and 
the copper stuff. You could probably chop down the tree in half the time with less energy, and eventually your character becomes more efficient. But I'm also curious if this is going to be... If I were to just follow the story, is this one of those circumstances where I can beat the game without even building a base? Kind of like Sons of the Forest? Like, obviously, I don't think I'm going to be, like, attacked or anything. There's not going to be, like, base defense. I really just want to get on the water and see what we can go find. I want to see, like, how limited it is to the land. I don't know if there's sharks. Is there going to be places where we can explore the water? Like, kind of like how we climb these trees and see the area. Maybe we can do that in the water. Maybe we fish from the raft. Maybe the raft is just extremely limited and we can't even drive it. Like, I don't know. So that's why I want to see the water stuff get a little bit more convincing to see how in-depth this is but geez I feel like I need a PhD in UI in order to figure out where I need to be a lot of the time let's put our water collector right here hour and 48 minutes we have a water collector or something to drink from nice cool so that was a little side of objective but we have the stones now so we can do the skin dryer, or so we can repair the axe, so we can get the long sticks, so we can make the skin dryer. Durability on my axe is going to cheeks. It's probably better off just making a new one every time, instead of repairing. I wouldn't doubt it. Like a 20% chance of injury from grabbing sticks off of tree? Who am I? Who am I and why am I such a little bitch? Should not be that hard, you know? What is this thing? Small animal remains. Gross. Okay. Now again, we have to light our campfire to make bandages. Takes us an hour to light a campfire. Beyond me, with literal flint and steel. Imagine. We need some thick leaves. Which I can get off of. There's some bushes back here. In the crevice, I believe. Bubble Boy Syndrome. True. I mean, it kind of makes sense because, right, like, Ponce de Leon was just some, like, rich dude. Probably had, like, servants and stuff. I'm not Ponce de Leon, but I was, like, someone that obviously was on the ship with him. But I don't know. Like, no, because, like, I'm, I should be, like, a shipmate. Like, someone that has survived, like, long treks on the ocean. You know? Like, getting scurvy from not eating my vitamin C. Like, vomiting 24-7. Going on, like, two-month excursion via boat. And I can't pull three sticks off a tree without cutting my hands. What's going on there? It's a bit odd. It seems like I just need two bandages for a deeper cut. So it's just like a stacking thing. That's weird as well. There we go. Okay, so two cuts, two bandages. Got the long sticks. This will probably take seven years to build or something. See, th that took 27 minutes. My axe broke again. Do I just craft a new axe? Is that just, like, better? It takes one stick and you get a fresh axe. What the hell? I'd rather just do that. Level 3. Select blueprint. No blueprints found. So I assume we find the blueprints once we find the hide, right? So now we need a bow. A couple more long sticks. I can do that. I do like the... I like the perk points and like the quest progression and things like that. That's pretty nice. Unlocks Buffalo Potion Recipe. Better sleep, yes. I kind of want better sleep. For now.
Do I have a chance at cutting myself because I was using a damaged axe? That's what it seems like. But the axe was damaged from cutting down branches. And then it would just take a normal stick plus a stone instead of one stone to repair. It just... It just seems like a very unnecessary task to have in the game when you could just make an axe. So weird. So, so weird. I need to stop lighting my fire for so long. There's no point because I go and grab three sticks and then my fire's out again. So like an hour to make a bow is like kind of quicker than you would anticipate. I don't know how to get more hot slots, which is annoying as well. And then uh, arrows. We just make arrows in our regular inventory. That we do. Small sticks. Got lots of those, and then we just need a bunch of these guys. My dude's super delicate. Seven wooden arrows. Took two hours to craft seven wooden arrows. Is it one for one arrow crafting? It is, so we only have seven arrows now. All right, I need some type of hide or something like that, right? I'm gonna get a little bit more, did it rain or anything? Does this have water? I still need a container to even grab the water, so I need to make another one of those coconut holders. Still grab one of these regular coconuts. And then I need some to drink. And then we need to find something that drops us hide. rope back at home. That's fine. All right. So I'm 100% assuming, and I hope I assume correctly, that the boars and the peccaries are going to be the ones to drop us the hide. So let's go into this boar area over here. We uh, made a backpack for, maybe, is it a belt? Hmm, you're right. A belt for more slots would make sense, wouldn't it? But I'm going to assume... The tannery that we're currently building is going to unlock that. I feel like that feels like a natural progression to things. Once we get the leather, the leather will unlock more stuff. Etc, etc. I don't know how bow shooting is going to go. I know we can stealth. I don't know if there's stealth damage. Okay, cool. So I right-click to steady up the bow. Can we grab arrows? Oh. You can grab them if you can find them, which I sure as hell can't. I hit them. Do they bleed to death? It does look like he's bleeding to death. It would be cool if the blood would hit the ground and we could... <gasps> Ooh, that's a big mama right there. Can I cheese it? It ran away. And now he's back. Oh god. He's got an anti-cheese. He ran away again. I think it has an anti-cheese. Alright, where'd little peccary go? I bet the birds got him. I don't... Oh, the peccary. I think that's the peccary right there next to the boar. Which is now charging me. What 
the fuck? It's really weird that draw the bow and block is on the same button. And I'm out of stamina. Is this thing going to bleed to death now? There you go, it did. Holy shit. I just want the hide right now. But maybe I'll come back for the other stuff later. Some boar tusks. I'll grab that just to see if it unlocks something. I don't know how long it'll stay there. That's a lot of stuff the boar gives us. But only one hide? I guess it makes sense. You'd only get one hide, but how much hide would that be? It'd be enough hide to do quite a few things, right? So I wonder maybe if we cure it, it'll come multiple pieces? Maybe? Can be used as a decorative element in a house. Can be installed on walls, floors, ceilings, hammer tool for... That's it? So nothing. Nothing off the board. We can, it's just for decoration. I guess I'm just tired again. That works. Be cool if it gave you a bonus to sleep, true, or like a better bed to build or something. Um. Still have no idea how to get this hide. I don't- I see it here. Piece of leather. You need dried hide. Clean water and tree bark. But how do we dry hide? I just had boar hide. So maybe we need the peccary hide. And like I mentioned before, maybe the boar hide is too good to become dried hide. But I didn't even say I had a blueprint for it. This is the piece of leather. We need dried hide. No, there is animal fat, so yeah, you could probably make bacon and shit, but I'm just trying to figure out hide. And how we... do that. These guys. This is what I'm thinking is probably going to give us hide. I'm on the night hunt. Alright, so I hit this one in the middle. Let's see if it just bleeds to death or something. Right next to a bird's nest. My arrow's underneath him, unfortunately. Fresh hide. See, that's very different. I'm assuming we can dry that. Maybe we try to get a couple of pieces while we're out here? They might as well, right? Got him. Nice. Okay, wait, there's- is there- oh, there's arrow auto pickup off the ground. Okay, respect, respect. I respect that. I appreciate that always. This is meant for a water collector, so we're going to hold on to that. So many wide leaves to go around. We're overweight as heck. Still overweight. This hide weighs five a pop. Holy crap. I mean you no harm, birdies. Please, leave me alone. I'm heading home. I will not steal your eggs. Okay. Look at that up there. 
There was like a big giant like painting on the rock. Yep, gonna put the boar hide in the in the tannery in the sun, I guess. Maybe that'll work. It's a bit weird that the boar hide can only be placed on the ground. I think the boar should just give you three of the peccary hide because it's like a smaller boar, right? We're gonna have to hunt one peccary at a time for one leather at a time. I really hope this boat doesn't require like 10 leather or something. Because I mean, that's my end game goal here. It's just to see the boating in the game. And then it's Dead Island tomorrow, so. This guy, right? Crafting. No blueprints found. Processed hide. To learn a blueprint, study these resources. Wait, did I just make processed hide in my inventory? That's it? Oh, because I'm just... I'm cutting it down, right? 19% chance of injury? Use the Tanner workbench to craft. This is not the Tanner? This is a skin dryer. Tanner workbench? A split log? Split log. From a regular log. God, it's like <laughs> there's so many steps man it's like it's intuitive if it didn't have the craft timing this game would be cool as crap like that's literally what's holding it back straight up yeah and the random hey you cut yourself doing something so fucking simple Whatever, I'll stay cut. I don't care. Okay, now we have to just do the workbench. We need three big branches and two ropes. Look at that. Perfect. Gonna make some rope. There we go. Crafting. Rope. We're going to need to go back to the jungle. At some point. Processed hide. <sighs> Process hide. 41 minutes to process it. Blueprints are unlocked. Process hide studied. We have process hide now. Now we have a raft. One processed hide. <gasps> yes. Process hide and a little bit of those leafies. We need to repair our armor real quick. I'm going to grab this and drink. Still no roasted fish, huh? Okay. Need to repair you. Is there any point in repairing it, though? I should just make another set, right? We've learned our lesson there. Welcome, loyal subject, to Jordan, the house. Thank you for the 28 loyal. months. I appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, thank you. Remember, guys, we're live on Twitch as well. We will be live on Twitch after this with some snow runner, more snow runner with Crystalish. We're just kind of having a vibey day before Dead Island comes out. It's been a good one so far, thus far. I really need more rope. Let's see if there's more rope trees in here. If there isn't, it seems like we need to head all the way over here for more rope.
Welcome, loyal subject, to the house okay, of Jordan. royal. Enjoy your stay. I'm going to mute noties. Thank you for the 10 gifted. I appreciate it. God damn. Psychopath. I appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Run away from me, peccaries. Look, a glowing rock. Dum dum want gum gum. What does the glowing rock do? Song of the Golden Ages. Wow. How fascinating. Don't care. Need rope. Must make both. Pat Garf, we fui. Me make both. God damn it. It hasn't been 10 days yet. Feels like it's been 17 years in real life since I started playing this game. It's that exhausting. Hey, this one's not marked. Oh, it is. I don't have a rock to repair. I'm... There was some down here, though. That's a snake. I don't know what's up here, but like, do I care? We'll find out at some point, maybe. Didn't we learn there is no point in repairing, right? So, uh, drop. Maybe repairing's quicker. Then you have a chance of cutting yourself from repairing. So screw that. And like we said, no point. We drop. We drop. Okay. Just do all this crafting in the shade. Why can't I use a knife to cut down the rope? Seems a bit backwards. Was I at this one? I think I was at that one. Oh, god damn it. God, the bugs sound like the snakes. The snakes sound like the bugs. There's so much foliage on the ground, I can't see that shit. I think I have scorpions at home. I might not, actually. The scorpion cave is, like, all the way over there. Whatever. I believe in my natural... My natural body to fight it off, you know? I'm gonna grab a couple of these. We need to remake that hat at some point. Probably right now. In the shade, though. <sighs> Hat has been acquired. Why are we overweight? Just from the fresh hide on us? We should have dropped that off at home first, probably. Goodbye, Mr. Stone. There's enough shade to go around, luckily. I wonder if, if shade's going to be the problem on the boat, I think, right? Ultimately. Just get real burnt. Real sunburnt, real fast. I think we need to go around to the left here. Hmm. Is there a special object in the water? Like, look at this. You need to be at the helm of a ship for fast travel. So there's like fast travel to like other islands. How deep does this game get? But like, is it just a progression of just chopping down trees a little quicker? I don't know. I really hope the boating isn't like, you're on a raft, where do you want to go? And we actually have to like drive it. That'd be cool. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. 
<laughs> Take a good hard look at the mother boat. Any water yet? Why would there be? Okay. Uh, obviously I'm sleepy. What? I forgot why I left. Rope, right? We just need a little bit more rope. How much more rope? Let's see. Two. Replaced all that. There we go. Nice. Crafting. More rope. We just need two. It's now nighttime. We have absolutely nothing to eat. Why would we? More mollusks for us. There we go. Now just two long sticks and then the logs themselves. sticks at the house, right? Beep boop. Alright, let's grab a log. While we're at it. Actually, no, we probably have to sleep before we can get a log. I need some good food, too, in the morning. Yeah, so quality sleep's gonna be bad. Let's just shoot something real quick. Maybe there's a... One of those rabid animals out here. Or a chicken. That looks yummy. Hold steady. Hold steady. Hold steady. had an egg inside of it. Can I do that? There's an animal hunting me? Is that a snake I'm hearing? Look at this. Tell me you see this on stream. Yeah, right, dude. The hell? I got injured cutting up a snake. How fucking stupid am I? How do you injure yourself cutting up a snake? You skin the snake and the knife slips? You freaking idiot. And then I fail. More steamed leaf, please. We drop that. We cook up, and we sleep. But cooking also takes 40 minutes and makes you tired. Why wouldn't it? Should be enough sleep. Can't do snake tail until unless we have stones, which we don't. Let's get the logs. That's a split one. We want a full size. Can we get multiple logs off the haunch? Yes, we can. Three hours to cut it down. YOLO. Only can carry one common log at a time. Well, our water collector will have water in it now. We go just that one log over here and we set sail let's see what it's all about shall we <laughs> on the boat again here i am on the boat again oh god 
You like use stamina as you carry. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. Cause I want a duo in like a Stranded Deep type game again with Christian. That was so much fun. Stranded Deep is one of my favorite series of like all ever. Five hours. And I need to repair my axe before I do it. So I need a stone. I saw a stone on top of the stone over here for repairing. I should also get some wide leaves real quick. Make another bandage. We need scorpions for uh, the anti-poison. And there is a small cave behind my house. I guess I could peep. I'm getting the sense of where everything is in my zone though. Which is real nice. We can kind of rapidly craft now. I'm just going to allow the poison to do its thing. A little pain never hurt anybody. Lovely. All right. Axe is now... I know it's not worth to repair, but... Whatever. And now it's sunny. Of course it would be. Eight and a half hours. Completely exhausted. Boat is ready to go. We gotta take a nap, though. Very much so. Eat this coconut real quick. Sleep. Five hours is good enough. There we go. It's like day seven billion. Time flies when you're building a whole goddamn raft. Don't care if I'm ready. Taking the helm. Eat a sail away. This is nice. I mean, you just literally drive it like a car in a video game. Durability slowly goes down as you use it. Step out from the helm. Is there like a fishing spot on this? No? Hmm. Okay. Maybe this will... Oh, there's a bed on it, though. That's nice. And you can repair it, too. So you can, like, bring supplies with you. I wonder if you can build on it. Can't see anything to the left. Problematic. I am curious if there's sharks or something. There's a bigger boat, too. Improved raft. And then there's the full blown canoe. We just need dried hide to find and craft. Especially just 15 miles per hour. Oh, there's fish down there. Her ability is not bad, though. It's barely going down. I'm curious why. I'm assuming at some point maybe you end the game or maybe there's an island with something part of the story on it. Maybe like the crash ship or something. I mean, like, look at all those rocks out there. This one's got like a cave. I'm real scared that someone's going to come up and tickle my toes, man. It's like too quiet. I see like a mast out there. You see that? I wanted to come in here. This looked cool as heck. Maybe we get obsidian in here or something? Just somewhere where you can build, I guess. Ooh, a flint shard. Cool. We found flint. Make a better axe out of that. 
Play more Icarus with your friends? Uh, probably not for a while. I wouldn't mind checking back the, uh, the actual missions, though. The missions are pretty fun. Gives you an objective. Not for a while. Dead Island comes out tomorrow. It's going to be our primary focus for a bit. This is cool. This is quaint. I kind of like this. But, like, now imagine if I was doing this with a friend. And we were trying to get the next tools, the next benches, build an actual, like, hut on the shore, progress the story, explore. It would be pretty cool. But, uh, have we seen it before? Is the crafting system worth the while? We're leveling up sailing. That's cool. I do like the levels. I like the perk trees. I like the bonuses. And you can have, like, your own little builds and stuff. I don't mind the sun system. It seems pretty self-explanatory to fix a lot of your stuff. But uh, will I continue this game? Probably not. Maybe not for a real long time. Maybe they'll add multiplayer in the near future. There's lots to explore, lots to do. It's not the worst thing ever. I'd put this in place in the same place as like... Uh, kind of with like the infected or like subsistence. Kind of in those like early access type things going on, you know? Where like it's got a pretty good baseline game, it just kind of isn't the greatest thing ever. You know? If that makes sense. I think I'm coming up, isn't this the fishing spot? I don't know. Yeah, that's a fishing spot. I don't know if it's the fishing spot. Is this the side? Yeah, no, I'm nowhere near. I'm on like a whole different chunk of the island. Holy crap. That's cool that there's multiple fishing spots though. But thanks for hanging out. Uh, again, just two quick episodes of this game. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification icon. We'll be continuing this live stream over on twitch.tv slash partially royal, like I said, with some snow runner with Chris Delish. Pretty cool game. I'd put it in like a like a C or a B range on like the S tier list. So it could be worse. It could be better. Not too bad. I'll see you guys over on Twitch. Hi, Twitch. How's everything?